So what do you need to do to get the best results from this hypnosis session? Well, what you need to do is find a quiet place you won't be disturbed. Use headphones if they're available, but once you're not being disturbed, and then the main thing is to focus and engage in the suggestions that are given to you. Just relax and let it wash over you. That's all you need to do for to get the best successful results from this session. However, how you can improve it immensely is by listening to the hypnosis session for 21 days. 21 days. And the reason for that is you've learned to do many things in your life. Now you did not learn the first time. It was a little bit difficult at first. So just like that, the mind takes time to be programmed at a deeper level. So by listening to the recording for 21 days, you program your mind to be the way you want it to be. And then it really takes root and becomes a part of who you are. So that's what you need to do. Quiet place, headphones, 21 days. Listen, engage. Did you know that nobody can actually be hypnotized against their will? Because if someone could be hypnotized against their will and made to do things that they didn't want to do, we would have no need for prisons because we could just hypnotize all the criminals into being good, honest citizens. Welcome. And before you begin to start making your journey, learning something new that's going to change your whole life, I would like you to think for a moment, or perhaps even get a pen or pencil and a writing pad, just to write some ideas down as they come to you. Because you have come here to learn something new that will change your life. So it's important to know where you are going. When you go out in the morning, out the front door of your home, you have a destination in mind. And just like that here, it's important that you have a destination in mind so that you get there and be able to look back and see what life has changed from to where you are then. So I'd like you to use your imagination in some way. Because you've been doing this already, using your imagination, hoping to be a certain way. So what I want you to do is use your imagination now and think of how life will be in three months or six months time after you have made these changes by using the techniques I'm teaching you here today. Just think of what life would be like in six or three months' time. What changes will have happened for you? Those changes you have come here for. The reasons you're going to engage completely in all the lessons here. You're going to engage in this full session here with me in my therapy room and you're going to use what you need to of it on a regular basis to make those changes so allow your mind to drift three or six months into the future and just see what life is like then perhaps friends or family are saying something to you about the changes they notice within you 
or perhaps things have changed so dramatically in your life in the future because of these changes. Only you know how these changes will benefit and affect your life. And also notice who may not be so happy about you making those changes. Because sometimes people who are close to us are not happy when we actually change, even if it is for the better. So just notice what your life is like in three or six months time. Where are you? Notice the people around you. Hear all the good things that are being said. And notice how you hear all the good things being said. How good that makes you feel. And from three or six months time, just look back and notice how easy those changes were to make by perhaps just changing one feeling inside allowed you to make small or large steps towards the life you're living now in the future. Just like many other people have done before. And now as you think about that, and I come to the end of my introduction to you about looking at life, of how it will change for you. Once this recording has stopped, write down in great detail how your life will look in three or six months time, so that you know exactly where you are going by taking part and engaging in this session here with me. So you don't visualize, or you cannot visualize. Well, let me tell you, you do actually visualize. However, consciously you are not aware of that. And to help you be more aware of how you visualize, what I'm going to do is just ask you a few simple questions to let you know that you actually do visualize. And the easiest questions to ask are What does your front door look like? What colour is your front door? What side of your front door is the handle on? Now to answer these questions you have to have a visual image in some way. Now you may not see that image as if you're looking at it. However, below conscious awareness, you're seeing that image. That's how you can plan a journey to know where you're going. And that's what you're going to be doing on this course, is answering questions that I'm offering to you. Now, if you find that you can't actually see anything, that's okay. Just be aware that whatever pops to mind after I ask the question, is the answer that you're actually seeing something below conscious awareness. And whatever answers pop to mind, just write them down. And then you'll be constructing an image of yourself, of how you want to see yourself, by writing down those answers. And the other thing is, you can practice visualizing if you want. And a simple way of practicing to visualize is to look at maybe something in the room you're sitting in. Just look at it. 
and close your eyes straight away and see it in your mind's eye. And just think about that image. So let's do that again. Just pick some object in your room. It could be a chair, it could be a painting, it could be anything, it could be a book, anything at all. Whatever's in front of you. Even the computer screen. Just look at it for a moment. Take it all in. And close your mind. And notice how, in some strange way, you can kind of see it but not see it. It's like it's there and you know what it looks like. It could be a hazy image, it could be a bright image. Everyone is di different in how they see these images. I myself actually visualize with my eyes open. So not for that exercise I was giving you, but if I want to visualize something in the future, I can actually sit with my eyes open and begin to visualize. And sometimes you actually do that when you kind of go off in a daydream and you're thinking about things in the future and you're just staring at something and people may walk past you and you won't even see them because your attention is focusing inside. And that's all hypnosis is, false focusing your attention inside. And as you focus your attention inside, you can begin to make changes to those images inside so that you can change your life outside. Now another uh, interesting fact about visualizing and why you should visualize, and that is because once you visualize seeing this new you in the future, you will be more attracted to that new you. So your subconscious mind will find a way to get you there. And the exercises I am offering you in this course will help you get there even quicker. But you must visualize to know exactly where you want to go. Now how does this work? Well, it works in, in a similar way of that there's times in your life that, let's say, for example, you, if you drive a car, you've picked out a particular car and whatever color, whatever shape, whatever model, I don't know, just give an example for the car drivers, that you've picked out that car, get that car, and guess what? When you're driving that car, they seem to be everywhere. Now, you never noticed that before. But for some reason, you see these things more often. Because once you get something that's important to you, like the car you're driving, your subconscious mind begins to pattern match with all the same ones. Otherwise, you'd be looking at every car all the time. So that's why when you make changes inside, you become more attracted to achieving that. Your subconscious mind finds a way to get you there. Now, if you didn't understand that, that little um, idea I gave you about having a car, because you may not drive a car. Let's say, for example, there's an item of clothing that you go, I really love that. That looked good on me. Now, for starters, you're actually visualizing at some level by looking at the clothing thinking that will look good on you. So at some level, beyond your conscious awareness, you've actually, actually matched how you will feel good and look good in that clothing. And then when you go and actually buy it, have you ever noticed that, I never noticed so many other people had the same thing as I'm just other buying. That's why I bought it in the first place, place because I thought it was different. However, the reason for this is there's a part in your brain called the reticular activating system. And what it does is it matches up everything that's important to you. And once you get something or have something new, make some changes that, you, that inside your mind, that everything becomes pattern matching by this reticular activating system. So by making changes to the images of how you want to be, you will get closer to those images. 
not in an instant, because it's took time to get where you are now, so it's going to take a little time to get where you want to be. And instead of looking at yourself the way you have been, saying, I don't want to be this way, obviously your reticular activating system is going, oh, this is what you want, and they keep giving you the same thing. So if you do the same old thing, you get the same result. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to see yourself in the future by me guiding you there, asking you a few questions. If you don't visualize, just write the answers down in as much detail as possible, even if there's some questions I haven't asked you. And you go, oh, that's, that's, that came up. Just write that down as well. Because you're building a picture. It may be not a picture you can see, but when you read back through it, you will have this image built up that your subconscious mind has given you and has put together so that it will be more attracted to that new you. And by doing this, you begin to get what you really want. So I hope you understand a little bit more about visualizing and how you can benefit from doing that. Now the interesting thing is that everybody wants to make some sort of changes to their life and they find it difficult to consciously do that. And the reason is that your subconscious mind or unconscious mind will do exactly what you ask of it. Now you like many of my clients may go, hey, wait a minute, I've tried so many times to make those changes. Just, for example, say, lose weight, don't eat this, stop smoking, stop smoking, don't want to smoke. And what did I do? I just done more of what I didn't want to do. Now, the reason for that is that your subconscious mind has to understand what you want of it to not do it. And so what happens is that it has to actually partake in what you don't want it to do to know what not to do. Then that may sound a little strange, but I want to give you an example and maybe to help you understand what I'm trying to explain to you. So, as you're sitting there, hopefully, feeling relaxed, watching this program, I wonder how your feet feel. Do your feet feel warm? Or do they feel cool? Are your shoes feeling a little tight on your feet? If you have shoes on, and if you have no shoes on, is one foot moving a little more than the other foot? Or can you sense the floor beneath your feet? Now as I was speaking to you, your attention was brought to your feet. Okay, that's similar to a suggestion. Acceptable suggestion. That your subconscious mind will follow the instructions I've given you. And Put your attention on your feet. Now, whatever you do, I do not want you to think about your hands. Do not think about how your hands feel. Do not think if they were touching together. Do not think about your hands. Whatever you do, I do not want you to think about how your hands feel. Now, you're not here with me physically, but again, for most people, the minute I say that, I see a little glimmer in their eye or smirk on their face because their attention has went exactly to their hands where I asked them not to place that attention on their hands. And so I wonder, did the same thing happen for you? Now this is why when you think about, say for example, if you're a smoker or were a smoker and you find it difficult to stop smoking, watch you did was, I don't, want to, I don't want to smoke. I'm not going to smoke tomorrow. So every time you thought about not doing a certain thing, your subconscious mind actually had you do it so it could understand what not to do. Just like me saying, don't put your attention in your hands. It had to put 
your attention on your hands to find out what not to do and of course you've done it then so you go didn't work so it's all about suggestions and it's all about not resisting suggestions accepting suggestions saying I like that suggestion that suggestion will work for me and that's all it takes focus your attention accept suggestions and benefit from the results Here I'm going to show you how your mind and body work together. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to interlock your hands out in front of you. Place your two fingers out in front like that. Pull them back up in front of your eyes so that you're looking between those two fingers. I want you to squeeze your hands really tightly. And then I'm going to ask you to imagine that, the mag that there is a magnet on each of those fingers that are pointing upwards. And you will notice by imagining that there's a magnet connected to those fingers, there's only one thing that magnets do. Okay, so get ready, interlock your hands, place your two fingers out in front of you, okay? And now bring them back up in front of you, looking through the gap there, Pulling really tight, imagining that there's a magnet on each of those fingers, pulling tighter and tighter. And as you squeeze your hands tighter and tighter, those magnets are pulling tighter and tighter, tighter and tighter, until those fingers begin to touch. And the harder you try to keep those fingers apart, the more they want to come together, until eventually they touch. Now hopefully you found that experience interesting, that what you think in your mind affects what happens in your body. So how can your imagination and hypnosis benefit you? Well, move on to the next exercise I'm going to show a similar experience to how your mind and body works together. Okay, in this test of your imagination, this time it's a little bit of a bigger test of your, how your imagination and your mind and body work together. So in this test, what I want you to do is I want you to place your hands out in front of you, straight arms out in front of you, and your hands opposite one another. Okay? Now what I want you to do is I want you to imagine a big magnet again on the palm of each of those hands. Now, what does that magnet look like on each of those hands? What colour are they? And you do realise what magnets actually do. And the closer they get, the more powerful they get. Okay, so just imagine that the power of those magnets have been switched on. Okay, and those magnets are pulling tighter and tighter, pulling and tugging, pulling and tugging. And the harder you try to keep those magnets apart, the more those magnets want to pull closer and closer. And the closer they get, the more powerful they get. And the harder you try, the more they want to get closer and closer, pulling tighter and tighter, pulling and tugging, tugging and pulling, pulling those hands closer and closer. Those magnets, see the color of those magnets? The power of those magnets get more powerful the closer they get. That's right. The more closer they get, the harder it is for you to keep them apart. That's right. The more powerful it is. Those magnets pulling closer and closer, closer and closer. That's right. Pulling and tugging, tugging and pulling, pulling and tugging. And the harder you try to keep them apart, and they're so powerful, they've got so close. That's right. They're ready to touch. That's right. And those hands touching. Excellent. So hopefully you've had another experience of how even a bigger part of your body can be affected by how you think and how your imagination can work in a positive way. So by thinking something negative, how does that affect your body? And with hypnosis, we can help you think more positively by 
reprogramming or programming your thoughts to think in a more positive way and make the changes you want to make. In this exercise, where you're going to see how your imagination and your mind and body work together, what I want you to do is I want you to place your dominant hand, that's the one you write with, out in front of you like so. And then your non-dominant hand out like so, palm upwards. And the non-dominant hand, the palm pointed upwards, I want you to imagine that there's a big heavy book on that hand. Now what does that book look like? Perhaps there's a title on that book. Just notice what that book looks like. That big, heavy book. That's right, that big, heavy book on that hand. And just imagine on um, the dominant hand that someone has tied a helium balloon around the wrist of that hand. And that helium balloon only wants to do one thing. And what colour is the string that's attached to that helium balloon. And what colour is the helium balloon? And that helium balloon wants to do one thing. And as that happens, just close your eyes for a few moments. And notice how that helium balloon wants to go up, up towards the clouds, the sky. That's right. And the higher it goes, the bigger the balloon gets. So it wants to go even higher. And that heavy book is weighing that arm down. It's getting really heavy. It's getting really difficult to hold that heavy book up. That's right. As that heating balloon goes up, up, up into the sky, and a light breeze comes along and pulls and tugs on that heating balloon. As that heavy book is getting weighed down, down, and someone has sneaked up and put another heavy book on your arm. That's right. So that arm is really getting tired with two of those heavy books resting on that palm of your hand. As that helium balloon goes up, 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 higher and higher. That's right. Now isn't that really interesting? Just open your eyes and see where your hands are. So by you imagining something yet again, your constant thoughts become your reality. So what you are thinking affects your physiology. Your body and mind work together always. Welcome to your hypnosis session here with me in my therapy room. By being here, you are agreeing to be hypnotized. And I wonder if you will go into a light, medium or deep hypnotic trance. So are you ready to be hypnotized? Okay making sure you will not be disturbed, finding yourself a comfortable position that you can really relax and enjoy this experience. And when you're ready, just allow your eyes to close. And as you close your eyes, just relax the tiny muscles that work those eyelids. Relax all those tiny muscles that work those eyelids. And only when you're sure that you've relaxed those tiny muscles enough in those eyelids, so much so that if you wanted to open those eyelids, knowing you can open those eyelids, but somehow it doesn't really matter. Each time you breathe out, just allow yourself to go deeper and deeper. And as you breathe out, that's it. 
deeper and deeper. And you know you are going deeper and deeper. And you feel yourself going more and more into a nice, comfortable, hypnotic state. I would like you to be aware of other sensations in your body. Notice how your shoulders feel at this moment. And as you notice how your shoulders feel, just feel the muscles relax more and more comfortably. Now I don't know if they will relax more in the left side of your body or the right side of your body or will they relax equally just notice how they relax deeper and deeper the muscles in your shoulders and as the muscles in your shoulders relax so that beautiful comfort and relaxation can spread down through your arms each time you breathe out. That's it. That comfortable relaxed feeling can spread down through your arms as you relax. And as you go deeper and deeper each time you breathe out, as you breathe out, so that comfortable relaxed feeling can spread down through your arms, through your elbows, down to your wrists maybe. I don't know whether at this moment it will be more comfortable in your left arm or your right arm. But you can just notice that for yourself. Or maybe it's fairly equal. Maybe you may even lose the sensations in one arm or both arms at this moment as part of the hypnotic experience. Or maybe you will feel even more sensations in one arm than another. It would be very interesting for you to discover that for yourself as those arms relax more and more comfortably as you breathe. Just be aware of those arms at this moment as the comfort spreads down your arms. I don't know whether your arms feel lighter than normal or heavier than normal or, the, or whether one feels lighter than the other or one feels heavier than the other. You can just discover that for yourself in whatever way you're unconscious mind wants it to happen. One arm can feel different or the same. It doesn't really matter. Just be aware of those sensations, whatever they are, as they get more and more comfortable. Sometimes people feel a sensation of heaviness in their arms and they also feel a sense of heaviness in their body and sometimes people feel light sensations in their arms and light sensations in their body you might even get one feeling in your arms and a different feeling in your body so just be aware of whatever your experience is now as you breathe and as you continue to relax deeper and deeper each time you breathe out that's right the same comfortable relaxed feeling 
spreads from your shoulders down through your arms and can spread down through your back. Just allow that to spread down through your back. Now, that's it. All the way down through your back, through the muscles in your back. Down through the shoulder blades. Down through your back. Down to your waist. And down through your chest. At the same time, down into your stomach muscles, just relaxing deeper and deeper as those muscles in your back, in your chest and stomach relax deeper and deeper so you can go deeper and deeper into a nice altered state and feel comfortable and you can breathe easily that's right as you breathe so the muscles can relax deeper and deeper now that's it and somehow you breathe in the wonderful free feeling having that wonderful free feeling from all that in the same way and you can be in a special place and yet know there is another part of you listening to my voice just feel those muscles relaxing and I wonder when that comfortable feeling can spread down through your legs as well just allowing that comfort that comfortable feeling to spread down through your legs all the way down to your toes and I don't know As the comfort spreads down your shoulders, your arms, your back. And as you go deeper and deeper relaxed into the chest and stomach. As you go deeper and deeper down through your legs. Whether the same comfort can spread up through the back of your neck the front of your neck into your face into your head maybe so the neck muscles can start to relax more and more that's right maybe the head feels a little heavier or a little lighter at this moment but you notice how the muscles just relax as the comfort spreads down to your feet just be aware of that now that's it all happening by itself as you experience that and as you are aware of that you can go deeper and deeper into trance But don't go all the way into a nice, comfortable, deep, hypnotic state until all that comfort has just spread all the way over the top of your head. All the way over the top of your head. And your whole body just feels so comfortable and relaxed. So comfortable and relaxed. Don't go all the way down into a deep trance until you feel that comfort. Go all the way over the top of your head, all 
all the way through your body. And you will know when that is happening. Because as that happens, you will discover your mind wandering. You will discover your mind wandering to some other place. So you may not be listening to my voice anymore. You can just let your mind wander to some other place. To some other place where you can make things a new reality. You can make dreams come true in this new place. Things you have been thinking about. Things you've been thinking about doing. Or maybe things you never thought about can become a reality. And as you become aware of that place, and the sound of my voice kind of stays with you. But you don't have to listen to the words because your unconscious can listen for you. And as you are so relaxed there, because you have followed all my instructions, during this special state of deep relaxation, your subconscious mind can come to the fore, so that it can accept ideas, suggestions and concepts that are for your benefit, for your good. These suggestions will take root in your subconscious, and nothing that is accepted into the subconscious is easily removed, so you can be certain that they will be there helping you, guiding you over the coming days and weeks and months, helping you to stop the smoking habit easily and completely, helping you to stop the smoking habit for good, so that something you thought would be difficult is going to be so easy, almost ridiculously easy, and you'll take a great deal of pride and pleasure in the absolute ease with which you stop the habit for good. Your friends and relatives would be surprised too. And if they smoke themselves, they are going to be none too pleased at being reminded that they still have a habit which you have freed yourself from so easily. So you may find that tobacco smoke will just sort of happen to waft in your direction from time to time perhaps at a time when you might have had a cigarette in the past. And it may be that you'll be urged to have a cigarette, but you'll find yourself simply smiling and saying, no thanks, I don't smoke. No thanks, I don't smoke. And you're going to be astonished how it Easily, you can just say those words. No thanks, I don't smoke. You'll find yourself saying it without any effort at all. And you're going to find yourself with a little surge of pride and pleasure at being able to truthfully say, I don't smoke. So you're going to find that something you thought would be difficult is remarkably easy as the subconscious and conscious parts of your mind and the automatic systems of your body begin to work together for your benefit, helping to make it easy for you to stop the smoking habit easily and completely so that you can escape the possible end products of the smoking habit, bronchitis, emphysema, lung cancer as well as cancers of the throat and mouth, heart disease, diseases of the arteries and other blood vessels, diseases which can affect the whole body. But now, 
you're going to find that smoking is just a smelly unhealthy habit which you used to have a habit which you used to have with no place in the new fitter and altogether healthier you and you will feel fitter and look healthier too your eyes clearer skin smoother a real spring in your step and even more energy in all your activities more energy in all your activities as that more alive more vital and healthy you begins to become steadily more and more noticeable with each day that passes and you now know that cigarettes contain many poisons poisons that can cause great harm to your body that can result in early and painful death and you know now that when you suck on a lighted cigarette you're actually sucking those poisons into yourself it's like sucking poison through it you you know that whenever you suck on a lighted cigarette it's just as if you are sucking those poisons directly in through it you many times a day and so many times a year and that is something you simply would not do to yourself something you simply would not do to yourself you know that each cigarette you smoke kills or damages yet more cells in your body and because you know this because you realize fully now that every single cigarette that you smoke kills or damages yet another cell in your body and you're pleased and relieved that you can stop the smoking habit for good you will simply stop the smoking habit for good and you're going to be delighted that you no longer have to keep on taking these horrible smelly substances into your body and you're going to be delighted and proud that you've beaten the smoking habit and because your body is no longer being poisoned you'll have no anxiety about being a natural non-smoker you're delighted and proud to be a natural non-smoker and because you are a natural non-smoker you'll simply have no wish to smoke cigarettes or any other tobacco products in fact from this day on you'll find cigarettes distasteful smelly boring obscene you'll be thankful that you you have no need of them and you realize and accept that any small feelings of craving or need you might possibly experience are a sure and certain sign of how well your body is repairing itself evidence that your body is repairing itself at an accelerated pace clearing the poisonous substances from your system along with the tars and the chemicals along with the thought the memory with the entire experience of smoking just as though you stopped smoking ages ago just as though you have never smoked now I would like you to let your mind drift forward a little while a month maybe to a time when you know you have done it and I want you to see yourself in your mind's eye looking exactly as you want to feel seeing how people react to you hearing what people are saying not having the smell of smoke off your clothes anymore and knowing to yourself you have done it 
This is something you've done for yourself. Make it a vivid image in your mind. Seeing yourself there. Seeing it written all over your face. You're having the time of your life with that pride and that pleasure. That absolute sense of satisfaction of achieving this for yourself. And you're going to be pleased to discover just how much more energy you've got. How much more you enjoy just being alive. Now that you're free from that obnoxious habit. And your life's going to continue to improve each and every day that you are a non-smoker. You'll have extra health, extra energy and vitality. More cash in your pocket. And you're going to start enjoying those benefits immediately. At the same time, you're going to gain a calmer, a more relaxed viewpoint on life. So that all those things that used to upset you are now going to just calm and relax you. And the more they used to upset you, the more they will simply now just calm and relax you. So that all the things you used to find difficult to deal with are going to just seem so easy from now on. And you'll find yourself wondering if there were ever truly a problem in the first place. And as you now know, you can just relax and revel in the thought that you no longer need to smoke. And you are no longer dominated by a smelly, poisonous, suffocating habit that was never a natural or necessary part of your life anyway. It's just a habit that belongs in the past. So in your mind now, close the door. Just close that door and leave the past in the past. So you can live a happier and healthier life now. A happier, healthier and longer life. So that you now think about your future, feeling optimistic, enthusiastic and maybe even a little excited. And you pleasantly realise that you no longer associate cigarettes or smoking with any feelings, emotions or activity or with any situation, time, place, person. You are a non-smoker. You pleasantly realise that you no longer associate cigarettes and smoking with any feelings, emotions or activity or any time, place or person. You are a non-smoker. And because you are a natural non-smoker, you no longer associate cigarette smoking with you. You are forever, finally and completely free. And as you are so relaxed there, absorbing all those positive suggestions, I wonder what your favourite colour is. Just notice your favourite colour pop to mind. Because from this day on, you are going to notice your favourite colour everywhere you go. You will either notice it consciously or subconsciously. But each time your favourite colour pops up, you will know that you've done it. You are now a natural non-smoker. Each time you see your favourite colour, either consciously or unconsciously, you will know you no longer smoke. Smoking is a thing of the past and does not belong in your future, a longer, healthier future. So each time you see your favourite colour, 
all the positive suggestions that have taken root here today would be reinforced time and time again each time you see your favorite color and when you're ready only opening your eyes as those suggestions take root bringing all your energy back into your body bringing you back to full awareness in your own way in your own time feeling great because you are a natural non-smoker bringing all the energy back into your body opening your eyes bring yourself back to full awareness in your own way in your own time looking forward to a new healthier you Welcome back. Feeling good? I'm going to give you a special feel good trigger. A feel-good trigger that you can use any time of day, any place, just to make you feel good, feel better about yourself, to feel confident, whatever you need. Okay. So to create that trigger, I'm going to ask you, not yet, to place your thumb and forefinger together, making like an O, a circle. And before I ask you to do that, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. Just close your eyes and go inside for a moment. Just go inside and notice how your breathing is. Notice how your body is. Just scan your body from the top all the way down. From the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to drift to any happy memory. A happy memory that made you feel really good about yourself. Only going to a happy memory that made you feel really good about yourself. You don't have to go looking for a specific memory. Whatever memory pops to mind has been offered to you as a gift from your subconscious mind just because I asked you to go and find a happy memory that made you feel good. Now just notice in that happy memory if there's anybody there with you. What was going on then? 
no, notice any sounds there. Taking in all the detail. And most importantly, notice if you can see yourself in that experience or if you're looking out of your own eyes. And if you're looking out of your own eyes, that's perfect. And if you are looking at yourself, I want you to step into your body and just see that event out of your own eyes. That may seem an unusual request, but just by asking that of you, you can look out of your own eyes at that event, hear what you heard, and feel all those good feelings. And get to the peak moment of that event when you feel really good about yourself. Is it something that was said, something you saw, or just a feeling? And whatever that feeling is, I want you to hold on to that feeling by placing that thumb and forefinger together. Just place that thumb and forefinger together as you feel that feeling wash all over you. Now with that thumb and forefinger together, notice where that feeling is in your body. Don't question it, whatever comes to mind. And allow that feeling to spread to every nerve, every sinew, every fiber of your body. That's it. Just let that feeling spread to every fiber of your body. Excellent. Now open your eyes and release that that thumb and forefinger. And what I'd like you to do is I want you to look around the room and notice maybe there's, there's a pictures on the wall. What color is the wall? What color is the, the, the floor? Is there covering on the floor? Is there a mat on the floor? I wonder what the room is like that you're in. If you're in a room, you could be outdoors for all I know. Okay, I want you to close your eyes again. Close your eyes and go inside and go back to that happy memory. Seeing what you saw, feeling what you felt, and hearing what you heard. And noticing those feelings spread throughout your body, from the top of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Just as though they were a magic liquid. This magic liquid spreading all through your body. Just as quickly as the blood can flow around your body. That's it. Now press your thumb and forefinger together and hold on to that good feeling. Just hold on to that good feeling. Now you, the subconscious mind, that stores all that information, knows how to multiply. And I would like you to multiply that feeling. Multiply it by two first. And as that happens, notice how that feeling grows grows and starts to expand out around you, just like a protective bubble. Now why not feel even more of that good feeling by doubling that again, four times that feeling as you press that thumb and forefinger together. Feel that feeling wrap itself around you and spread out as far as it can this protective bubble of good feeling. And it's such a good feeling that when you come into contact with people, they may feel that feeling from you. Just by you feeling that good feeling. Everyone has had a good day and noticed someone watch them or look at them in some kind of knowing way, hoping that they could get a bit of that, of what you have. And so now you have that on tap with that thumb and forefinger, that feeling filling your whole body and spreading out this invisible good feeling that you can share with the world, other people you care about. And that good feeling protecting you like a protective bubble from any bad feelings entering that protective bubble. 
so that by pressing your thumb and forefinger together at any time, that feeling will spread out from you and protect you so that you feel that good feeling without any bad feelings being able to get near you in any way. And so open your eyes and release your thumb and forefinger. And just look around your room again and notice if there's any sounds other than me in the room. Is there any sounds outside the room? And if you're outdoors, notice what sounds are around. Sounds in nature? I don't know. So just notice what sounds are there. Okay. Close your eyes again and go back into that happy memory. And notice just by going back into that happy memory, it feels better than it ever did before. Better than when you were actually there before. And press that thumb and forefinger together and notice how those feelings expand to and from your body and surround you with a protective bubble of good feelings. So now that you know that any time you can press that thumb and forefinger together and feel those good feelings now. Okay, open your eyes. Look around the room. And just notice anything. Is there any lights in the room? Are they on? Are they off? Just notice. Is it daytime? Is it nighttime? Just notice your surroundings. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to press that thumb and forefinger together and notice what happens now. And just close your eyes. And as you feel that good feeling, every time you do this, press that thumb and forefinger together, you're reinforcing that memory, those good feelings, so that they become stronger and stronger each time you use that thumb and forefinger, that special trigger for you. Having your own feel good special trigger. Now, open your eyes. Excellent. Press your thumb and forefinger together. And close your eyes and notice what comes to mind. And notice those feelings. And open your eyes and release that thumb and forefinger. And what I want you to do now is I want you to press the thumb and forefinger together, release it, press it together, release it, and just notice what happens each time you press it and release it. Just notice, so do that now. Just do it at least five times. There's no such thing as having too much good feelings. That's excellent. Okay, so now you have your feel-good trigger to use anytime, any place, anywhere. It's not necessary to close your eyes. All you have to do is follow me, thumb and forefinger. Notice. That's right. And release that now. So now you have that special feel-good trigger to bring with you anytime. Any special event, anytime you feel nervous, anxious. Now you put thumb and forefinger together and just watch how all those negative emotions just disappear.